Hey guys, here's a new one about my low poly game kit and in this one I will show you how to change the third person player. So what I want to do is to import a new character and replace the existing one. In the last video we imported the free RPG character animation pack from Explosive and I want to use the character of this asset so I drag in the prefab. It's a bit bigger than the existing player so I will reduce the size. And after that I will remove all the components that are attached to this character. The scripts, the animator, remove every component. Ok, after that I copy the attached components of the existing low poly character and paste it as new component to the other character. For the animator controller I replace the avatar of the low poly player with the avatar of the new player. Alright, and then I continue for every component, copy and paste. Once we're done with that, I go ahead and adjust the size of the character controller capsule. It's a bit too small, so I will increase the size. The next step is to assign the hand bone of the character to the hand slot of the player controller script. The player is able to collect items and to carry them, so the player controller has to know to which bone, for example a weapon has to be attached. Now everything is assigned to the new player and I can deactivate the old one. The third person camera has to follow the player. So I select the camera and the player follow script and assign the new player to the player transform slot. And now we can start to get a first impression on how this will look like. Here is the player. He's playing his idle animation and we are also able to move him around. He's able to collect items and they are attached to the right hand, but there's something wrong with the rotation of the X. So let's see how to fix this. What you can do is you can drag the X to the bone that it will be attached to and you do this in the editor and then you move and rotate the X till you're happy with the position and rotation. Ok, I think that looks nice. Now the only thing I have to do is to copy the position and rotation of the X to the properties of the X script. These are the values, I make a screenshot now with the snipping tool. After that I go ahead and fill in the values in the X script. In a future version of the game kit I will add a more convenient way to do this. After this is done you can remove the X again from the hand of the player and reset the values of the transform. Alright, so let's start again and pick up the X and here you can see that this fits really good. What's also left to do if you want the sheep to run away from the player when he is carrying a weapon, you have to assign the new player to the sheep script. So first I have to collect the weapon again. And now the sheep that has the new player attached is running away. Ok, the last thing that I want to show you is to make the conversation with the second character work again. This conversation is controlled by the conversation item listener and here you also have to assign the new player to take damage when he gives the wrong answer to our NPC. Now the conversation is started. You select the wrong answer, the NPC is angry, the player is killed and the death animation is played. All the other features work as well, you can walk around, you can jump and interact with items. So guys you see this game kit and Unity is very flexible. I really hope you like it, the links to the assets that I used in this video are added to the description below. That's it again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and perhaps you think about being my patron this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on JNM.